Obesity rates throughout the U.S. are continuing to rise. One in eight of the world's population are now classed as obese. Entonces, casi la mitad de los españoles han engordado por... Childhood obesity rates are getting worse. Obese, obese, obesity, 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 obesidad, obesidad, obesity, obesity. Obesidad. Are going to be living with obesity for, uh, unless something is done about it, for the majority of their life. And Why is fat loss so hard? Like honestly, have you ever thought to yourself why 80 to 95% of people fail their diets? In this video, we're breaking it down and why your body fights you every step of the way and how you can fight back. Take it from me, I've been fat my entire life, but in just 120 days, I lost 40 pounds of fat just because I did things a little different. But let's start with something basic, but often misunderstood. How do you actually burn fat? We throw around words like calorie deficit all the time, but what does that actually mean? What is fat doing in your body in the first place? Well, your body stores fat as a long-term energy reserve. Fat isn't the enemy, it's actually a survival tool. Thousands of years ago, your ancestors had no idea where their next meal was coming from. So when they ate more than they needed, their body stored it as extra energy, as body fat. But why? Because famine was always just around the corner. So when you're trying to lose fat today, what you're actually really doing is trying to convince your body to tap into those energy reserves. That means you need to create a demand a calorie deficit, where your body burns more energy than it takes in, forces it to unlock those fat stores and use them as fuel. So now we know how fat loss works, but here's the million dollar question. Why is it so damn hard? You've probably asked yourself that before. You start strong, lose a few pounds, then boom, cravings hit, motivation fades, and you gain it all back. Why? Because your body doesn't want you to lose fat. In fact, it's designed to stop you. Fat loss triggers a full body defense system. Hormones shift, your metabolism slows down, and your hunger skyrockets. This is called adaptive thermogenesis. Basically, your body senses danger and says, hey, we're losing energy reserves, we might actually die. And it responds to that by burning fewer calories and increasing hunger hormones like ghrelin and leptin, making you obsessed with food. Leptin, the hormone that keeps you full, starts to drop, and ghrelin, the hunger hormone, spikes. Your brain starts sending reward signals every time you see a donut, and that's not your lack of willpower. That's your biology doing its job. A 2016 study by NIH found that participants in The Biggest Loser had drastically slowed down metabolisms. This is a show where they try to get people who are overweight and lose as much weight as possible in the shortest time period. And even six years after that show, their bodies were still trying to regain the body fat they lost. So it's not just that you're eating too much, it's that your body's fighting you from the inside. And then we add the modern food environment, ultra processed junk. In ancient times, food was just a resource, but now it's a commodity, cheap, addicting, and everywhere. So yeah, phallus is hard because you're trying to outsmart a survival system in a world that's designed to make you overeat. So fat loss is hard, not because you're weak, but because your biology is strong. But here's the truth most people don't tell you. Hard doesn't mean impossible. You just need the right strategy. Here are the three steps to make fat loss not just possible, but sustainable. Step one, awareness is power. You can't improve what you don't measure. Most people are guessing, eating healthy, working out a few times, and wondering why nothing is changing. But fat loss isn't based on feelings. It's based on data. Track your food, at least for a little while. Use MyFitnessPal, Chronometer, whatever works for you. Know your numbers, know your patterns, learn your triggers. Awareness brings control. Without it, you're just a flying bird. Step two, make a plan you can actually stick to. You don't need a perfect plan. You need a repeatable one. 1,200 calorie crash diets work until they don't. You'll burn out, binge, and blame yourself. But if your plan includes foods that you like, movement you enjoy, and a little flexibility, that's the plan that wins every time. Sustainability beats intensity. So ask yourself, can I still be doing this in a year from now? And if the answer is no, change it. Step three, identity over habits. Here's a part no one talks about. Fat loss isn't just a physical transformation. It's a mental one. You can follow a diet for a while, but if you still believe you're the same person who always quits, you'll prove yourself right. Instead of saying, I'm trying to lose weight, say, I'm becoming someone who takes care of my body. That mindset shift changes everything. You don't just do fat loss, you become the kind of person who doesn't give up. So let's bring this home. Why is fat loss so hard? Because your body is ancient. Because your environment is modern. Because your brain wants comfort more than change. But guess what? You're not a slave to your hormones. You're not stuck in your past. You're not broken. You're just following the wrong blueprint. If you learn the truth 
and you stay consistent, you can change your life. Take it from me, I was fat most of my life. I felt hopeless. But in just over 120 days, I lost 40 pounds of fat and gained a version of myself I didn't know existed. And I'm not done. And neither are you. If you're ready to stop guessing and start changing, subscribe. This channel isn't about quick fixes. It's about real change. And we're just getting started. Roll.